been told that more money was raised for uh, State of Israel bonds at tonight's dinner than at any other labor event ever held for Israel bonds in history. I also want to applaud the uh, City of New York and the State of New York, and I see Tom DiNapoli is here, and I, I believe Bill Thompson was here earlier, for the purchase of two 15 million State of Israel bonds. Uh, that is such a great commitment, and I am so grateful uh, to both of them. This is an exciting night for um, everyone who cares about Israel and Stuart Applebaum. What a great combination. I am personally uh, so fond of Stu and so grateful to him, not only for our friendship and his support, uh, but for his advocacy of working people uh, and his leadership on behalf of the Jewish community. And I want to thank uh, President Matza for recognizing Stuart and honoring him tonight by letting him and all of his friends be part of this great dinner. Everyone here knows that uh, Israel Bonds was the brainchild of David Ben-Gurion. And what a brilliant idea when you stop to think about it. Uh, the idea that people who supported Israel would be uh, able to do so by contributing to the resources that uh, this young state needed, uh, the building of infrastructure, the planting of forests, uh, the assistance that would come uh, to ensure the freedom and the safety and a better life for uh, all who were seeking uh, a new beginning uh, in Israel. So investing in a productive and growing Israel uh, was important then and it's important now. Uh, these bonds uh, and your contributions to their purchase are not uh, acts of charity. These truly are part of the foundation of the relationship, the building blocks of the partnership between the American Jewish community and the Jewish state. And it is part also of the bond shared by U.S., uh, United States, its government and our people, and the government and people of Israel, based on our shared interests and rooted in the strength that we derive from shared values. Israel's commitment to civic engagement, open debate, free expression, the rule of law, even in the face of grave dangers, is something that we Americans not only can, but must support. So what Prime Minister Ben-Gurion initiated all those years ago is an ongoing project. And we need only look at the current 